Hello, welcome back to the channel and thanks for watching. Few brands evoke the aura of history and rugged durability quite like Panerai. The Luminor series, known for its military origins and iconic design, has become a symbol of luxury watchmaking. However, the watch world is changing, and affordability is increasingly becoming a key factor for discerning consumers. Enter Gekota Pioneer, a timepiece that offers impressive specifications at a fraction of the price of the Panerai Luminor. Both watches offer a 42mm case diameter, which in my opinion is the sweet spot for many resizes, offering a bold and versatile look. Some may disagree and say that the sweet spot is perhaps 40mm, but I tend to have a different opinion here, especially as the Panerai design is most appealing to a specific type of individual, and I have this feeling that people buying it are looking for something with, let's say, more presence. The Panerai Luminor is quite likely a masterpiece in terms of finishing and craftsmanship, but is it worth the hefty £6,000 price tag? And by the way, I'm talking about what in my opinion is the cheapest model of Panerai Luminor at 42mm. You can find it under reference PAM01274. The Gekota Pioneer at just £400 delivers a sleek and stylish package, making it a compelling alternative for those who appreciate a well-designed watch without breaking the bank. Now let's dive deeper into the crucial aspect of water resistance. Panerai's legacy is deeply rooted in the world of diving watches. Yet surprisingly, the Panerai Luminor offers a mere 30 meters of water resistance. And of course I do acknowledge that this Panerai Luminor model is more about the classic cushion case design rather than functionality. In contrast, the Gekota Pioneer offers an impressive 200 meters. This is a significant point of discussion in my opinion, especially for a brand with such a diving heritage. And yes, I do know that Panerai offers much better water resistance in other models, but don't you feel that all their watches should have, I don't know, at least 100 meters of water resistance? The Gekota Pioneer clearly shines in this department, providing practical utility for water enthusiasts and divers alike. I should also mention here that yes, for only £400, the Pioneer also offers a sapphire crystal. While the Panerai Luminor may excel in finishing and movement, it's essential to ask whether these attributes truly matter in the grand scheme of things. Panerai's historical roots lie in watches built for action, rugged terrains and professional divers. In such demanding environments, the emphasis shifts towards durability and functionality. The Gekota Pioneer, with its robust water resistance, stands as a testament to this ethos, delivering the performance needed for everyday adventures without compromising on style. In conclusion, the Gekota Pioneer challenges, in my opinion, the notion that luxury and also functionality must come at an exorbitant price. At £400, it offers what most Panerai enthusiasts would have expected from their watches, regardless of using them in water or not. Ultimately, whether you're drawn to Panerai's heritage or Gekota's functionality and good price, these watches represent a different path to horological satisfaction, each with its unique charm and appeal. For those looking for better functionality in their Panerai timepiece, the Panerai Submersible with its 300 meters of water resistance might seem tempting. However, it's crucial to know that this enhanced water resistance comes at a significantly steeper cost, with a price tag exceeding £8,000. This, in my opinion, begs the question, is the premium you pay for the Panerai Submersible truly worth it? Maybe it is, if money is no object. As I was preparing this video, I thought to myself that I should admit I've always been a Panerai fan. The rich history and iconic designs have a unique allure. However, there has always been one nagging thought. Could I truly justify the steep price? The quest for a wristwatch that captures the essence of Panerai but at a more reasonable cost led me to the Gekota Pioneer. I just think it's a watch that doesn't compromise on style, offers an impressive water resistance and comes with a price tag that makes a lot more sense to me. It seems that I may have finally found a worthy alternative, and the Gekota Pioneer is very likely to be my next watch. It's a testament to the changing landscape of the watch industry, where affordability and functionality can coexist without sacrificing the essence of what makes a watch truly special. Thanks again for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please do like and most importantly, subscribe. See you next time.